Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a super spicy list to check out today. So we've seen Martyr Proc decks before, and this is a Martyr Proc deck, but it has a really interesting twist to it. I'm calling this deck Glittering Martyr Proc, comes to us from Lear the Cat, who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive Modern League on Magic Online. So congrats to Lear on a super sweet deck. A quick reminder before we break down Glittering Martyr Martyr Proc for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Glittering Martyr Proc starts off looking like a fairly typical Martyr Proc deck. So, Martyr of Sands, Proclamation of Rebirth is kind of the primary synergy of this deck. Martyr of Sands, 1 mana 1 1, you can pay 1, sack it, and you gain 3 times X life where X is the number of white cards you reveal from your hand. So if you have five white cards, when you do this, gain 15 life, really big chunks of life for a low mana cost. And then in the late game, Proclamation of Rebirth just lets us keep getting back our Martyr of Sands every single turn for six mana. So that means we're gaining a ton of life repeatedly, which makes it really hard for some decks to beat us. There's some decks that just aren't going to be able to beat 15 life, 18 life a turn, which is really practical. Of course, is expensive, so we gotta slow down the game long enough to make this happen, but this is one of the main synergies of the deck. Martyr of Sands, keep forecasting our Proclamation of Rebirth. We also have a bunch of white cards because we need these to have in our hand for our Martyr of Sands. So in the early game, we cast these, we get value from them. In the late game, we can just hold on to them and gain even more life for their Martyr of Sands. So Ranger of Eos is key because it can tutor up our Martyr of Sands, and it can also tutor up a bunch of other interesting Interesting one drops. And remember, Proclamation of Rebirth can get back anything one converted mana cost or less, so we can get these back as well if we don't need the life gain. So Three Bin Inspector gives us a clue, can keep getting it back, keep getting more clues, keep drawing more cards, kind of churn through our deck. Kami of False Hope with Proclamation of Rebirth gives us basically an infinite fog, just get it back every turn, stop all the combat damage. And Weathered Wayfarer lets us tutor up a bunch of really interesting one and two of lands. So what are we finding with Wayfair? Misfill Plains lets us go super mega grindy. We have two white permanents, we can keep putting something on the bottom of our library, lets us, for example, keep tutoring up ghost quarters with our weathered wayfarer, or tutoring up some of our other cards if we start running out of action. Amiria gives us a great late game engine. We're not really in a Amiria deck, but it's a nice value card. We got a lot of planes anyway, so sooner or later we might turn it on, start getting even more stuff back from our graveyard. We can also find Gavany Township, which is sweet because normally Martyr Proc decks are mono white. This one actually goes Bant, which is one of the unique aspects of it. And then Cavern of Souls, not a really tribal focused deck, but we can put it on a specific creature type, like our Martyr of Sands, for example, to make sure our opponent, if they're playing control, can't counter it. Since we're talking mana, might as well cover the rest of it. Pretty straightforward. A bunch of fetch lands, some shock lands, and some planes. Uh, we're very focused on planes in the deck. I think there's one basic for us. Not going to talk all the lands, but we want to make sure we're weighted towards planes for our Amiri in the late game. So, the rest of the deck, we got some more white creatures. Squadron Hawk is very synergistic in this deck. It gives us three creatures, white creatures, in our hand for our Martyr of Sands. So, that's nine life just from Squadron Hawks. Plus, we can do some neat tricks with our Misfill planes where we keep putting it back on the bottom of our deck once it dies to give us like infinite blockers. So, we can go mega grindy in the late game. Sun Titan, just a one of, helps us close out the game. And then Renegade Rallier gives us even more ways to get things back from the graveyard. So we sack our Martyr of Sands, we cast a Renegade Rallier, get back our Martyr of Sands, sack it again, even more life gain, gets back our Thraben Inspectors and our Kami of False Hope and all those other cheap things as well. So we can do some really interesting grindy stuff with Renegade Rallier. As far as the non creatures in the deck, Ghostly Prison helps us stay alive in the early game, Supreme Verdict to blow up the board, and we don't really care if we blow up our stuff, because we have so many ways to get it back. Proclamation of Rebirth, Amiria, Renegade Rally, or Sun Titan, there's just so many ways to get our stuff back that blowing up our own board is pretty fine, and then Path to Exile. And then the most unique aspect of the deck is the namesake Glittering Wish. So this is what really sets this build of Martyr Proc away from 
other builds of Martyr proc we've seen in the past. So Glittering Wish, the only wish I believe legal in modern, although we do have Cokes from Blind Eternities now, which is wish-like, but basically for a green or white, we get to tutor a multicolored card from our sideboard into our hand. So this gives us access to a ton of silver bullets for a lot of different situations that we can grab with Glittering Wish from our sideboard. So let's talk sideboard. Here are some of our Glittering Wish targets. If we're playing against a Scapeshift deck, a Cryptic Command deck. We can get Gaddic Teague to lock out those big non-creature spells. Also, decent against Karns and Ugins from Tron. Meddling Mage for combo decks. Pride of Clouds gives us another grindy engine. We can just keep forecasting it, make a bunch of flyers, win that way. Quasali Pride Mage to give us some artifact and enchantment hate. Sigarda is pretty close to unbeatable in some situations. It hoses on Liliana and stuff, but it's also just a great finisher. And you notice our deck didn't really have good fast finishers. We got the one Sun Titan and then just a bunch of small stuff. So we can get our Sigarda after the game is kind of in hand and just close things out really quickly. And then even in a Johnny unyielding for controlling matchups, generate a bunch of card advantage digging through our deck and maybe killing something as well. We can also get some non-creatures. Uh, our Force Supreme Verdict in the sideboard so we can wish for it. A Tefri's Moat, which is not great in a lot of matchups, but in some matchups, it just locks the opponent. If you play Mono Red Goblins, they are going to have a really hard time ever beating a Tefri's Moat. And then Fracturing Us for Affinity, for Tron, for Boggles, gains us a bunch of life, blows up a bunch of stuff. And then our non-Glittering Wish sideboard cards, a Linvala for creature matchups, becoming more important with the advent of the Druid Vizier combo. Hex Parasite, very strange, I guess. It's because we can keep getting it back with our Proclamation of Rebirth, and it can kill Planeswalkers and stuff, but an odd one. And then four Ley Lines to so shut down Burn Spells, Hose Discard, all that stuff. And that is Glittering Martyr Proc for Modern, and that's our Instant Deck Tech for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.